RDJ is Doctor Doom is going to return things. Return the hype. Uh, it returned it, the hype. Uh, I I don't know if it's a great decision. It's a cheap. Yeah. It's a cheap decision. It's a cheap. It, it's yeah. It's a bit of um, a quick win. It's, it's like it, slapping it, yeah, a bandaid sure. on the problem. For it's sure. a safe yeah. decision. It's it's a risky and safe decision, uh, with no thought of long term. Like, yeah. uh, what is RDJ going to play Doctor Doom forever? And how is he connected to Reed Richards? I know uh, Pedro Pascal is a lot younger than RDJ. How are they going to go to school together? How are they going to know each other from time school? travel? Yeah, like uh, how's that going to work out? It's going to happen in another universe, and they're opening and and they're introducing the world to Marvel's first Silver Surfer as female Silver Surfer. So they're already like going so backwards on this. Are they doing that? Oh Jesus! Well, uh, apparently that's a that was an upper executive decision. Somebody above Kevin Feige liked that actress. And wanted to to bring her in. Who is it? Sydney Sweeney. Uh, I wish if it was Sydney Sweeney, then it's all right. The Silver Fine. Surfer. Yeah. <laughs> then I wouldn't get care. her in a skin tight outfit. Uh -huh. Isn't she being tapped for some Batman character or something? <laughs> no, she. Uh, there's a rumor out there that she's going to be Black Cat, but it's it's oh, just yeah. it's just one of those scooper. Oh my god, poopers. that would be. Amazing. I mean, honestly, if I was if I was trying to launch like a superhero franchise or whatever, or just the next superhero movie, I'd fucking cast her like that. Like just get her, like get her in a spandex costume, perfect. Like we've got a male black demographic cat, story. Oh my god! Yeah, every teenage boy is gonna have that as a poster in their room. They should. I I don't know these days. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they want to be her. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, don't I, oh, I get the impression, right? I've said this before. Like they, they really want to push Zendaya as the next big actress that's going to dominate Hollywood. Why is this? I don't get it. I don't. Like, get maybe it you guys can clue me in. I don't fucking understand the got appeal. Got a huge of following on social media, like a massive, massive following. She was a model, right? Or was she a she, singer? She's, she's sure. She she's a model. She, uh, sure. she has a great social media <laughs> presence. Uh, what she doesn't have is great acting range. Uh, uh, she was in Euphoria. So was Sydney Sweeney, by the way. Haven't watched this. She was uh, she was in Dune, right? Yeah, she was yeah, in Dune. She was, she was Dune, the worst yeah. thing in Dune. <laughs> and she's um, Tom Holland's girlfriend. Yes. Yes. So yeah, like Dune, she was <laughs> fine, I guess. Like in the Spider Man movies, I found her. Fucking insufferable. I hated her take on MJ. I don't know if that's her or if that's the director that's at fault there, but like I fucking hated her. It was like nails on a chalkboard every time she was on screen. Um and I just I don't understand why people think she's such a big deal. I, I just don't get the appeal of her. I don't know. It's a weird one. Sydney yeah, Sweeney, she, I can understand. Sydney like, Sweeney looks like a woman. <laughs> Zendaya looks like a twelve year old girl. Yeah, so that's, that's now it. I like, understand why Hollywood. Ah, likes right. Her. In Hollywood, yeah, I understand why they're like. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> oh shit. 